severe superficial digital flexor tendonitis, which is causing this big banana on the back of the leg here. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in there with the ultrasound, oh, put some platelet-rich plasma in there, and try and get the best healing response that we can out of these tissues. So we're gonna go in a few different spots. Get a little more gain on there. We're gonna go in a few different spots and just kind of seed this whole tendon. Figure out where we're gonna help them out the best. A few good studies, um, one of them out of Colorado State University. So a lot of the platelets that we use in these PRP treatments are activated through um, kind of the natural physiological process of the, the processing, the blood draw, etc., and the injection itself. This shockwave helps to activate those platelets that are not yet activated. So you actually potentiate the action of the platelets in the tissue by doing the shockwave post-injection. As you can hear behind me, we're performing shockwave on a horse. It's actually, think about it like a massive sound wave, a massive sound wave going into the tendons and the joints. And this is increasing healing, decreasing pain, increasing vascularization, and making this tissue heal faster and better. That's what shockwave does. So now that we have treated this horse, mastered and directed by Dr. Colton Ramstrong, we have done PRP because we have a proper diagnosis on the tendon that was injured. After PRP, we have done shockwave. So the PRP will start bringing the own body's ability to heal. We draw the blood, get the platelets out, and we put them right in the tendon. And that has growth factors, anti-inflammatory um, properties, and it actually helps the body heal itself. That's what it does. Then after that, we follow it with shockwave. What shockwave does is further increases the healing of the tendon. By increasing the healing of the tendon, how does it do that? Well, it brings anti-inflammatories from their own body, so decreases inflammation, brings new blood vessels into the area, and decreases pain. Then after that, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the therapeutic chewing and bring the horse back to performance later on.